I don't know why I shut it up. I shut up, actually. This is not a cutscene, is it? Well, it is. But it's just the generic landing on the Nexus cutscene. You know what would be nice? You know how you can customize the Nomad? I'd love to be able to customize the fucking Tempest. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. News really doesn't right, spread very down. fast, huh? Space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. It's a good day. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne. Certainly. The initiative's full Oh, it's you, Professor. Track. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. This proves our resilience. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. I really hope we can find the other arcs. I don't want to be the only Pathfinder. I want to be the coolest, obviously. But it'd be awesome to- what the fuck was that? It'd be awesome to have other Pathfinders hanging out. You saw what happened to Krogan. But we need this equipment. Well, you're not getting it. Stop making frivolous requests. It's not a frivolous request. Properly functioning air filters are at- Frivolous. I've never seen a female Solarian before. We can't fix the station breathing Weird. bad air. Your incompetence isn't my problem. Just do your job. You poor thing. I would have thought they would have made. What do you? I would have want? thought they would have made um, female Solarians look totally different. But well, I guess I've never seen like a blue male Solarian. But anyway, that didn't look fun. Sounds like you're having a rough day. You saw that, huh? Oh, I'm sorry I snapped at you. The way Spender treats me, everyone. I'm just so angry. I don't understand how he's in any position of authority. And I've heard things about him. I haven't heard much good about that guy. Whatever you've heard, it's not half as bad as the reality. Just last week, he tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods going. Holy shit! Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock, <laughs> it would have been a disaster. He's always like Funny, that. Funny, back. Making bad decisions, driving the Krogan away, treating people like scum when no one's watching. How can I help? Maybe there's something I can do? A man like that's bound to have some dirt. I wish Tan and Addison could see it. Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boot to ass. <laughs> oh, it was glorious. Why does he keep going back he's then? Gone, but as incompetent as Spender is at his job, he's insanely good at keeping it. Kesh can tell you more. Sure she can. Well, is he just is he just pissed off then? I can't just deal with him directly and just slapping him in the wang? No? Alright, well I don't particularly want to do that first. I mean, I want to get it done, but it's not my... I feel like it's a big mission and therefore I don't want to start with it. So, we're gonna talk to... Aradana? Oh, hey Vetra, how you doing? Those ships were grounded for so long. Nice to see them doing what they were made to. I'm sure it is. Can we have a proper talk now? Hey, Ryder. We can't? Oh. Oh, Avina, what are you doing over here? Tell me how it's Oh. <laughs> That's all. Well, that was useless. I didn't realize you were going to say the exact same things. I've never seen this little area. Is this new? Can I walk on by? Also, there's a lot of talking going on that doesn't sound in any way good. But I, I, I don't know where it's coming from because it, it's so quiet. I mean, I just want to help, but... Oh my god, you're tiny. You look like default Sarah Ryder. If she was hit by an acid attack or something. My god. Okay, <laughs> let's make our way down here. I'm sure we'll run into something we need. Is there really nothing here? Damn, man. Oh, maybe I can scan that little uh, plant habitats through here. No, there's no... Whoa! You came out of literally nowhere and you're... You're a masterpiece of a human being. Ah, that was great. Well, is there anything over here? I don't think we've ever been around this corner. I almost definitely haven't. Look at this. It's kind of pretty around here. Dr. Camden. Oh, I've heard about you. Just when I balanced the air mix, another Yahoo has to come wandering through. 
Aren't you the Pathfinder? Dr. Camden, head of hydroponic sciences. Mind the seedling. It's not very polite. Are you always this rude to people walking in? Only when a mistake could kill everyone on the Nexus. What do you mean? <sighs> Hydroponics is our air, food, and water. A frail green line between us and oblivion. We almost lost it all during the mutiny. Now it's my responsibility. And I sympathize. I know what surprise responsibility can be like. So I hear. Perhaps we could share our. What do you need, buddy? I need samples of Andromeda's plant life. Our own specimens should acclimatize to them. Bring me any plants you find. You'll have a bounty in return, and my thanks. I wonder where I can get them. Pathfinder. I don't think I've ever seen just plants that I can take, right? I don't know. Ooh. The water. Ah, we were told about this place. I just never saw it. How did I miss this place last time? Welcome to the nightclub. In the middle of the day. Yay! All the depressing day drinkers. What a lovely crowd to be around. Guess day drinking probably doesn't really matter when you're on a space station. Hello. Hey, I was wondering if you could help me out. It's for the good of the bar. Yeah, sure. What's going on? Lay it on me. So, folks try and help and all, but we have a limited pool of ingredients. Keep an eye out for anything interesting we could use for new drinks, and we'll let you test them for free. Right. I get a feeling the testing will be interesting. I don't see what I get out of this. Dutch may complain a lot. Just poisonous he's booze. And, he's the best and a lot of work. Player. You're in good hands. Okay, sure. Looking good there. Am I? Hey, Dutch Smith, you seem interesting. Oh, another one. Damn it. This is supposed to be the chemistry lab. My chemistry lab. We'll keep crawling out of the woodwork like space cockroaches. I'm a guest! You say that, Dutch, but here you are, pouring people drinks. Uh, hi. I'm standing right here. They're guinea pigs, damn it. Chemists should have guinea pigs. Not have their labs taken over by people giving them things and <laughs> being nice. You look like a eunuch. What's going on? Gifts! Horrible things, those. Bad people. Giving you free things and helping you set up. So inconsiderate, right? They keep bringing things, tables and chairs and this bar and lights. Wait, you're making fun of me, aren't you? Don't let Dutch put you off. He's a sweetie, really. I'm not. And the drinks are good. Damn right they are. Uh, I mean, <sighs> yeah, I'm a dirty squirrel. Uh, I I'd rather not, what the hell go? Jesus, that was a shot, wasn't it? And we just had it in that massive club. We were a scary man. Oh, and that hasn't affected me in the slightest. Well, ain't that a shame? Can we talk more? Can I get more booze? Drinks are fizzing tonight. Okay, we can. Good. You're back. People happen when you work at a bar. <laughs> People happen. Got you there, Dutch. I'll have to get used to you too, I guess. <laughs> Fine. You can be a regular. What's your name? Ryder. I'm Dutch. That's Sanan over there. Be careful. The snark is strong with I like one. snark. Snark is good. I can work with snark. Ugh. You're one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're outnumbered, Dutch. You'd think people would reconsider picking on the guy making the drinks, but no. I'm so getting Speaking diarrhea. Of, <laughs> wanna try this one? Oh yeah, I do. I'm going to call it the tall moose. I think I prefer the dirty squirrel, to be honest. That one sounds like a sex move that you only find out about on the Urban Dictionary. Um, should we keep it going? I like it. You again. Oh, I mean, hello. Welcome to my lab. Bar. Whatever. Oh, Dutch. Look at you, getting all used to things. Things are fine. It's people I don't like. They You're don't irresistible. Like. Maybe they can't resist your charm. I hadn't thought of that. Wait, you're messing with me, aren't you? I would never. Right, here, have a drink. Rotten scoundrel. Oh, did you see what his eyes hey, just no. did? The drink, not you. I'm never going to be able to do my job again. <laughs> Let's keep it going. 
Well, how many there are of these? Drink of the hour is a lucky leprechaun. Wanna give it a shot? How lucky are we talking here? I forget where the ingredients are. Let's do it! Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Excellent. Whoa! I've killed myself! Dear God, did you see that animate? What the hell happened? Where am I waking up? Oh God, I'm on the dance floor. I climbed up. That's so awkwardly done, though. Like in, in the in the original in the original trilogy, that shit was funny. Like there were Turians looking after you and picking you up, and there was dialogue. That time you just like the fucking die on the ground, and then just pick yourself back up, and that's it. That that's the joke. Okay. Thanks, Andromeda. Hey, Liam. Is this happy drinking, or... I want to kill myself drinking, because your eyes are... Things are shaping up. Not looking too happy. Resources flowing in. Sleep is ready to head up. It's starting to feel like the initiative. Not quite up to the sales pitch, but getting there. It feels good, right? Like a new beginning. I feel it, Liam. Finally getting our start. There we go. Getting our shit together. Showing a new galaxy that we haven't sorted. If I keep saying it, it's true, right? I mean, no, you seem like you're trying to cover for something there. Take a break, Pathfinder. Everyone needs you sounded depressed as hell when you said that. You did sound like you believed what you were saying, but like, we are doing good, man. Calm yourself. Uh, what's that over there? That's Dr. Aradana. What's Dr. Aradana doing in here? I don't know, but we've never been up to the top of this. Hydroponics, new location. Well, who hangs out around here? Shapiro? What's going on, buddy? You alright? What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't for the life of me find the cores. Oh, whoa, you, you're the Pathfinder. Hey, sorry. Look at this amazing camera angle we've got going on right here. Happy to help, man. Power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That, that's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. A Pathfinder's eye might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. What, this thing right here? There you go. Sure glad I went to school for this. Are you just gonna keep repeating that exact line over and over again? Because I'd rather die than listen to it. What have we got going on over here? Set for it. It's such a spanning area. I really didn't expect the docking bay to include all of this. It's definitely never been shown. It's interesting, man. Not much of it has anything in. Like, you can't access any of these doors. These people don't have anything to say and... I don't know. It's just, it's pretty, though. You can't deny that. It's just a nice little fleshing out of what's uh, basically the Citadel light. Not quite as badass. In fact, nowhere near as badass, but it's still homely. It reminds me of the Citadel, and that's definitely not a bad thing. Now, what do we got going on through here? Tech lab. Okay, I'll explore the tech lab. Subi. Another power source. Underground construction a millennium ago. These remnant fellows probably had the same idea. So you guys have all moved. Interesting, okay. I know there's a load of broken things in here, but I can't seem to ask about them. Are you the professor again? You must be. Well, let's talk to Aradana, because that's what we're here for anyway. Hello, Pathfinder. Hell um, yeah. What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise. Perhaps not. Yeah, Sam will love them. Sam likes new experiences. It'll be an opportunity to encounter math homework. Hilarious. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. Ooh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, my AI is becoming a person. Uh, so, which is terrifying, as cool as it is. Let's go ahead and check the journal. Because there's a couple of things I want to do before we leave this place, like... Not that. Not that. 
Not that. Not that. Not that even. The new one. Come on. Broken wires. There we go. Can't be that far now, can it? Is it even in this area? Where are we? Yeah, okay, there isn't- oh, I didn't even realize you could get through it. This place is big, man. Cultural center. I heard about this place. Aww. Dawson. They're still looking to her for guidance, even though everything went wrong. That's so sad, man. All right, let's talk, shall we, Garson? It even sounds terrifying. Tell me more. Okay. Great. If you're seeing this, it means our pathfinders have done their job and made new friends in the galaxy. Welcome to the Nexus. But I want to put your mind at ease. Seeing our arcs arrive in your neighborhood probably raised some concerns. I'm happy to address them. Your intentions. What are you planning to do in this galaxy? Great question. I'd be worried about that too. I can assure you, we have no hostile intentions whatsoever. We're pilgrims who simply want to live in peace. We're eager to learn about new cultures, new ideas, and share our own with you. Mm -hmm. But we understand trust needs to be earned, no matter what galaxy you're in. And the initiative looks forward to doing just that. Why come here? Why did you leave the Milky Way? <laughs> I get that question a lot. Many of us have a deep curiosity that needs to know what else is out there. Our own Milky Way is just one tiny speck in a universe full of mysteries. And speaking for myself, the thought of exploring those mysteries in Andromeda was a call to adventure I could not resist. But I mean... The Milky Way has, I believe it's over 10 billion solar systems. So yeah, our, our Sol, which is our solar system, S-O-L, is um, one of 10 billion, if I'm getting that number right. It might be more even. Um, actually, it could be 90 billion. I, I have numbers ringing about now. It's a fucking lot of billions um, in just our galaxy, the Milky Way. And then there's over our, like hundreds of billions of galaxy, even in galaxies even in the fucking observable universe the universe is fucking big our galaxy is fucking big yeah. why do we need another one <laughs> but still it's interesting on behalf of my fellow Milky Way travelers we couldn't be more excited about what the future holds for all of us all right Garson you seem like you definitely did have good intentions I hope that's still I hope that really was the case I hope we don't uncover some dark truth here this game seems a lot lighter than um, than the original trilogy. It seems it seems almost like a, a fun spin-off. Do you guys get that kind of sense too? That's what I'm sort of trying to treat it as, and it makes me appreciate it more. I'm currently talking to no one. Fantastic. Um, and he informed the cat. Have you heard anything about the cat? Unfortunately, yes. Now, that's a species we won't be inviting here anytime soon. Maybe one day. I hoped our encounters would be peaceful, but I suppose that was too much to ask. What is this place? What goes on here? The Cultural Center is a place where new races we've met can visit and exchange ideas. They can learn more about the Milky Way species, while we foster an air of cooperation and understanding. But I thought we've only met, like, two intelligence, already. and that's Remnants and Ket. Visitors. Oh yeah, I see. Okay. Tell me about yourself. How did you get this job? I was a sociologist in the Milky Way. While there were plenty of cultures to study, the books on them had all been written. There was nothing new I could add. So when I heard about the initiative, I signed up right away. The idea of meeting new people, seeing how they've evolved, adapted to life's challenges, I couldn't resist. That's understandable. It, might, it is an incredible opportunity. Of course, our hope is that you'll make friends in the cluster and send them our way. I sure will try. I'm sure they'll be friendly species. Check back with me on a favor I'd like to ask. Oh, hell yeah. Can I can I do that now? Maybe with you actually in frame? Pathfinder, do you have a moment? We uh need to explain you. Explain me? 
Our new VI over there is meant to describe the role of our pathfinders, but it just lost all its settings in a crash. <laughs> if you could fix them, that would really help us out. Just talk to the VI, and it'll do the rest. All right, then which VI? What, the, the Garson? Of course. Speak with Pathfinder VI. Oh, this thing right here, then? I don't know what's going on. You are looking at an image of the Milky Way, the original system of the colonists now arriving in Andromeda. Home to countless life forms, the Milky Way is a galaxy where friendship and peace are held in the highest regard. Those arriving in Andromeda bring with them this spirit of enlightenment. They look forward to making your acquaintance. Okay, so the Garson then. Hello there, neighbor. I know. Tell me more. I thought I was meant to ask you about. Okay. Great, but I want to put your No? Which VI then? I don't know where the hell I'm going. Avena? Outpost Solar. Ah! I see! Well, let's learn. This is an outpost for Milky Way colonists arriving in your galaxy. They come seeking a fresh start in Andromeda, yearning only for a land they can call home. If you encounter an outpost, feel free to drop by and say hello. Your new neighbors are eager to make friends. Let's hope so. Okay, right, the Ark. This is Ark Hyperion, one of several ships that made the long voyage from the Milky Way galaxy to Andromeda. The thousands of colonists aboard have come in peace, united by their dream of a better life in your beautiful galaxy. You need not fear their arrival. We are all citizens of the universe. Eager to be your friend. Mm -hmm. Now let's find out about humans. They seem like a very interesting, mysterious species. Hello there. I'm a human <laughs> If you'd like to know more about my people, just ask. Oh yeah, tell me more. Okay. Good to hear. Humanity is a diverse species. You may notice different skin colors or religious beliefs among our people. Yet we don't let those differences come between us. We'd rather celebrate our diversity rather than fight over it. Your history. What's human history like? Humanity is a young people compared to many of the other Milky Way races. We didn't discover space flight until much later. But what we lack in age, we make up for with enthusiasm and a pioneer spirit. We'd like to think we can teach our fellow travelers a few new tricks. <laughs> and your homeworld. Where do you come from? Humans come from a planet called Earth. It's a beautiful blue world. With everything from oceans to jungles, oh, it still has those, huh? Nice. It's also an oasis of biological diversity. Scientists calculate Earth contains nearly 9 million unique animal and plant species. That doesn't seem like all that many, to be honest. Is that true? I'm glad you stopped by. Next time you see a human, ask about ice cream. It's one of the favorite <laughs> things we bring to Andromeda. Of course it is. Now let's try the Solarians. I didn't realize how tall they were. Seems like they've changed some of the, uh... So it seems like they've changed some of the, um... The fuck am I trying to say? Like the shape, size, shape, whatever the fuck. Of, um, of a lot of the species. Like, Turians seem a hell of a lot taller than they used to be. Like, Garrus was always taller than Shepard, I believe, but not by this amount. And, uh, Solarians seem way bigger. Okay. Solarians are considered one of the brightest scientific minds of the Milky Way. We're known for our quick thinking, technological savvy, and intellectual powers of deduction. Your history. What's Solarian history like? Cooperating with the Asari, we were the second species in the Milky Way to help form a galactic government, the Citadel Council. From time to time, we also guided other species, such as the Krogan, to better channel their natural gifts towards worthy pursuits. Well, that's utter bullshit, isn't it? It's our belief that the careful application of science and intellect is the key to improving the quality of life for all. Your homeworld. I don't remember its name actually. Where did it come from? Oh yeah. from a world known as Rakesh. It's a tropical planet covered with oceans and rainforests. As an amphibious species, we're at home in Rakesh's lush jungles. But with our technological advancements, we can adapt to nearly any environment. We look forward to studying the wonders of Andromeda and the rich diversity our galaxy has to offer. I do love me some Solarians. It's been my pleasure. Rest assured, the people of Andromeda have nothing to fear from Solarians. <laughs> Except the cat, because we're already killing a hell of a lot of them. Hello, Citadel. This is an image of the Citadel, 
considered the seat of government for many civilized races in the Milky Way galaxy. Here, the Council deliberates on matters of state. It is a champion of the common citizen, eager to help those in need. As with all political institutions in the Milky Way, conflict is rare. Peace and cooperation are the rule of the day. <laughs> Aww. It's weird seeing all this. Especially the stuff that harkens back to the past, you know, the, the original trilogy. Hello, Asari. Welcome, Native Andromeda. My people are known as Asari. It would be my pleasure to tell you about our kind. Tell me more. We hope you'll enjoy learning about the rich okay. of people. Very well. Asari are the oldest civilized race in the Milky Way. That Valley. you know of. Among my people, diplomacy and cooperation are prized over war or conflict. Your history. What's Asari history like? Thousands of years ago, we played an important role in founding the Citadel Council, the seat of government for our home galaxy. In the ensuing centuries, Asari placed great value on cooperation and collaboration. Many species looked to us for leadership and guidance. Due to our lifespan, sometimes reaching 1,000 years of age, we are patient in our decisions and prefer long-term solutions over short-term gains. What about your home world, good old Thessia? Where do you come from? Asari comes from a planet known as Thessia, which many consider the crown jewel of the Milky Way. Rude! It's a thriving world many are sorry, do you? Yeah. peace, and the center of the largest economy in the galaxy. With the high concentration of element zero on Thessia, Asari evolved powerful biotic abilities. It is considered a hallmark of our species. It sure is. I'm, uh... Fair it's on. making me miss my old crew for some reason. Cute. All right, Krogan. The world's calmest Krogan. Hell yeah. Okay. Your history. What's Krogan history like? Krogan also thriving back in the Milky Way, thanks to Shepard, but mm, you didn't want to pull over my shave now, did you? So, blah, 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 blah. your homeworld. Where do you come from? An ugly rock called Tichanga. No sense lying. It's not a planet most people want to visit. We have predators, nasty weather, and not much else. But Love me some Chanka. Forced us to adapt and evolve. Everything about us is built for survival. How many species do you know that have a pair of spare lungs just in case? Or four testicles? <laughs> you are by far my favorite VI <laughs> so far. <laughs> Alright, you enjoy your four testicles, buddy. And I'm gonna go talk to that Turian. It's an honor to meet you, citizen of Andromeda. My people are the Turians. It will be a privilege to tell you about them. Can the floaty ghost man please leave? Get what are you doing here? Okay. Oh, he got all shy. It's a good way of thinking, your history. What's Turian history like? The history of my people is proof that peace eventually wins out. Disagreements among species turn into lasting friendships. When Turians first met humans, there was a misunderstanding between us that could have had disastrous consequences. But with patience and restraint, humans and Turians eventually joined together in a mutually beneficial partnership. We look forward to doing the same in Andromeda. And lastly, your homeworld. Where do you come from? Turians live on a planet known as Power. The atmosphere's weak magnetic field shaped our evolution into the life form you see today. Our signature carapace, the hard exterior shell you see on Curians, is actually metal. No, it's not. The intense rays of power and sun. I... No, it's not. I refuse. 
I don't know if that's ever been said, but I don't like that. Hard as hell, yeah, but uh, 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 fucking metal? No, I've never heard about that. Right, Pathfinder time. You got it. I mean, I'm male. Male, please. Considering this is for the new species, I guess first contact. Meeting new species. Plus, I'm very excited to do that. A team, obviously. Go with the Pathfinder's team. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Former Pathfinders? I guess. It'd be good for her inspiration. List the former Pathfinders. Would you like to keep these Why not? It all sounds good to me. Thank you for choosing this Pathfinder information DI. Implementing changes. Hey, we did good. Do I need to go and uh, tell her I've done it, or is that all good? Let's try talking to it. Tell me more. Tell me about Pathfinders. By shooting Ket in the face. Um, allies. Tough job. Do Pathfinders have help? <laughs> yeah. Each Pathfinder has a team of talented specialists drawn from multiple backgrounds and species. Becoming a Pathfinder. How does someone usually become a Pathfinder? Our Pathfinders are selected from promising candidates of every species. Former Pathfinders include Alan Wright and Seven Up. <laughs> Just one? Oh, uh -huh. that's a shame. I will tell the voices in my head to do that. Thank you very much. Right, uh, what do we got going on around here then? Nothing new? Nothing new. Now where- Oh, we could have gone through there the whole time. I had no idea. Okay, well we've got a lot to do now. I'm pretty sure there'll be something to do in every single one of the little areas you can visit. So, uh, where should we start? I do want to go back to Hyperion, check on the sister. Should we do that now? Let's head to the cryo bay. You're listening to HNS, your what? No way is there a radio on this thing. Oh, that was it. We didn't even get a time to listen to it. Well, who have we got hanging out in here then? Anyone even vaguely interesting? Anyone I can talk to? No? Oh, they're only just waking up and finding out! Cute! I'm liking that information more. Well, I guess we should talk to uh, Papa Harry. What's going on? Back for a sure am. Your job. So you and Lexi swapped jobs? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too You've old? You've talked to me about this, no. yep. And she's one hell of a doctor. Let's ask about the She'll sister, I guess. Well. Her condition's stable. I see exactly the same as what he said before. Don't worry, You'd I'm expect We're not losing differences Stop. every time you visit, even if it hasn't really, you know, at least after every main mission. I'm excited for the other rider to come to fruition, you know? But that just doesn't really seem to be happening. Also, we woke up so much better than any of these people. Why are they... Why are other people struggling so much? We just sort of were like, Oh, hey, yeah, 600 year nap, I'm fine. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna run around because I don't really know what there is on the Hyperion to, uh... Get excited about, people to talk to, whatever. But uh, there's gotta be something. So I'll find that something.